Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Club Disney SMP. How are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments below. So today in this video, I believe we are going to be going on some Thanksgiving themed quests um, along with possibly continuing on the theater quest with um, Daisy, which I think should be fun. Well, yeah, that is the plan for this episode. Um, so we're going to head to the little quest area over this way. Um, also, oh, you've got mail. I've got mail. <laughs> Do I, Pete? Do I have mail? <laughs> um, I forgot how to check it. Can I just check it here? I think so. Oh, yes. Okay, we have one that says hello because this was the one that I sent for myself. So yeah okay here we go hello oh my gosh this is so sweet sorry for the late reply thank you for the good vibes hope you are doing well oh that is so cute i love it thank you that is awesome i love the little mail station it's so cute plus i love these little letters those are adorable anyways <laughs> it is getting close to thanksgiving so i'm very excited to be doing some thanksgiving themed quests i also have a turkey on my cape if you guys can see that it's like a turkey <laughs> and here on the server i believe we have minnie and mickey who have some thanksgiving quests for us to fulfill um which i'm very excited about oh my goodness what is this that's adorable <laughs> I like that um, okay so I guess we'll start with Minnie then we'll go to Mickey and then we also have Daisy who is doing the continuation of the theater um, quest that we've been working on but we'll save hers for last um, so yeah let's go ahead and start with Minnie hello have you come to make a parade float and help with the parade itself Yes, I can't wait. Great, go over to the float building area and pick one to decorate. Once you're done, bring me back a participation banner. Don't worry, you'll get to keep it, but I need to look at it. Awesome! Okay, so we get to build a float. This is very exciting. I'm excited about that. <laughs> That'll be fun. And then we have Mickey's. Let's go ahead and see what his is. Hey there, could you help me make this year's feast for all of my friends and I? Usually Minnie helps, but she's busy running the parade. Uh, I'd love to help. Great, I need one Thanksgiving feast. Ingredients are in my kitchen. Oh, okay, we can do this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, the Thanksgiving feast I know has a lot of stuff in it, so this should be fun. So we have toast, we can do, oh my goodness, lots of lentils and jackfruit carrots all that stuff of corn um of course cranberry jelly sweet potato pie mashed potatoes we can do pretty much any type of turkey okay this should be fun so let's get a cutting board first because we're gonna need that and then well, there's our turkey did we need potatoes we probably did and i'm guessing we'll probably need we'll probably need butter <laughs> i guess i should look at this mashed potato is a buttered potato so we need a baked potato and a piece of butter so yeah we should only need one and does this work i think it should work there we go okay let's cook those up so while those are cooking oh i love that animation um let's see what else we need so we need a sweet potato pie which is sweet potato dough marshmallows and ground cinnamon um let's see there's our bread for the toast and then there's our corn and then we have celery let's do some celery and there's our pumpkin or they're not a pumpkin <laughs> our cranberry oh goodness there's our sweet potato and then let's see what else do we need there's our cinnamon and our marshmallows perfect is that all that we needed i feel like oh yeah dough yes that should that should be it there we go there's a crafting table i was like wait i'm gonna need a crafting table i don't have enough room <laughs> okay there we go and then our sweet potato look at that okay we got a sweet potato pie awesome okay so there's that 
Um, let's think about the cranberry jelly. We need sugar and a saucepan. Let's put this back. Let's grab that and some sugar. And let's see. This should make some cranberry jelly. Perfect. All right. Now, how about the toast? We need butter and the bakeware. Okay. So another piece of butter and the bakeware. Toast and butter. Or the bread, I mean, because we're going to make toast. <laughs> okay. And let's see what else. We got the corn. We're making that. And then we can use the celery as that part. So I think... I think we're good and then this the salt and the potato makes mashed the potatoes all right i believe we have everything we need to make this so let's just put it all together now we have the turkey and the corn cranberry toast celery sweet potato and mashed potatoes and there's our thankful dinner yes Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> all right, let's put all of this stuff back. There we go. And I believe that that is it. Thanks so much here. Have a pumpkin pie. I hope you have a wonderful feast with your friends and families. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. I got a pumpkin cheesecake and a pumpkin pie. Yum. And I got some gold. Yay. And we have our little reward here. Oh, it's cute. It's a little turkey. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> I love it. All right. So there is that. I'm going to put this gold in here. And now let's go work on minis. Let's walk through the grass. I see the floats. I already see them. <gasps> there is a freaking phoenix on that one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Welcome to the fall float area. For the quest, you must decorate a float. You can do this in creative mode or survival mode. If you'd like an example of a float, go check out the oak float. It's bird themed. Um, once done, get two banners from the chest. One is for you and one is for the quest. Animal NPCs can be added to your float if you place a sign and tell Moon so she can add them. Okay, cool. Um, so the oak float is i believe this one over here you have the phoenix king oh this is so cool i love this this is awesome and then we have this one which i think i think katie decorated this one i'm pretty sure which is perfect for her um all right this is very exciting um i guess i'll pick a float and we can decorate it and i'll probably use creative mode just because I don't have a whole lot of stuff of my own yet because I've been working on my house a lot. Um, but I'm going to have to come up with an idea. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Okay, so I have an idea of a rough vision <laughs> of what I want to do. So I think I'm going to pick this flow over here. I went ahead and went in creative mode. Um... But my idea is to do like a float that is half and half. It's half Thanksgiving and half Christmas because right after Thanksgiving is Christmas time. So I want to kind of do like this um, Thanksgiving into Christmas sort of float. So it's going to be half of Thanksgiving, half of Christmas. I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm probably going to spend way too much time on this. But you know what? Why the heck not? Um, so I definitely am probably going to have to use some chisel and bits. I'll probably do periodic check-ins with you guys because when I build, it's a lot of just breaking and placing and not liking and then breaking it again and then placing some more. And yeah. <laughs> All right. So I will check back with you here in a little bit. All right. So here is the progress so far. This is the side for the thanksgiving i made some little chiseled pumpkins because i did not like the pumpkins that they have um the little trio of them because they're very halloweeny looking yeah because they have the little faces on them i didn't like those so i made my own <laughs> and then um we have this little table here and it has a turkey some carrots potatoes and then we have a plate of food that just has some random stuff on it 
um, the wreath and then a couple of barrels of things and then the chair where, you know, somebody on the float could sit on, you know, and wave. Um, so that is the Thanksgiving side of it. Now I have the Christmas side to do, which I went ahead and added a layer of snow. So that'll be the beginning point of this. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do for it. I know I want to add a Christmas tree, but besides that, I'm not sure just yet. So we shall see. All right, guys. So I believe that I have finished this float. It took a while because I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, which I'll get into that more in a second. Um, but I do believe it's finished now. So without further ado, here it is. I'll have to get up on another float to show you guys um, all of the details, but this is it. And I added a sign that says Made by Hope on it. Um, let's see if we can jump up here. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Not what I was trying to do. Um, okay, here we go. Actually, I think we can jump over here. Perfect. Okay, so you guys seen the Thanksgiving side of everything. And then this is the Christmas side. So we have this little uh, white and red chair, which reminded me of a candy cane. So that's perfect for somebody to sit in. Um, we have Rudolph and I just stepped off of the <laughs> float. Uh, we have Rudolph here and then I added a Santa and some uh, candy canes along with in the front, I added some of this really adorable garland i love that garland so much a beautiful little holly wreath um and then let me see if i can get back up here um i made some chisel and bits presents and i will tell you why because of the way i did this float with it being half and half i was unable to place any actual blocks down on this wall or in like these blocks right here um so i basically had to chisel everything <laughs> to be able to make it go on the wall um so that's what i did so all of this stuff up here this little garland i made that with chisel and bits i made these little stockings made the little presents and then if we come over here i made a little snowman which i think he's adorable and then i put a little elf here as well and of course, the centerpiece is the Christmas tree. I originally had a, a bigger Christmas tree on this float, but I, I just thought it overpowered it and it didn't leave a whole lot of room for other things. So I just went with the small one. Um, but I think that it turned out just fine. Um, so yeah, there is the float of Thanksgiving and Christmas. I absolutely love it. I think it turned out really good. Um, and I'm very excited to see what other people come up with i know that this float this little purple one over here uh winter vanilla has already got that one claimed so i'm excited to see what she does with that um but yeah that is it i wonder if i should have added ladders i don't know should i have added ladders to mine no i think mine's fine like you can you can see enough of it yeah i think mine's fine um but yeah that is it so we made our float um, oh, I need to break this deco bench. I will get rid of that. Here, let me go in creative. There we go. Okay. Because I used the deco bench to help me decorate. Um, but that is it. So let's grab two banners because that's what it said to do. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we got two banners. And it says our fall float quest is complete. But let's go ahead and take it back to um, Mini. All right, here we are with Minnie. All right, it says, I'm glad you had fun making a float. Be sure to check back to see everyone's finished floats. I will be sure to do that because I think that that is awesome. And oh my gosh, what did we get? We got these little pendant buntings, which is really cool. I'll have to hang those up at my house. And then we also have the participation banner, which I uh, maybe... It said to take two, but... It let me keep both of them. So I'm going to go return this other one because uh, I feel like that's the right thing to do. Um, also, why am I stuck? I'm just going to shut that door. <laughs> and the other little uh, badge that we got is this one. And it is a float, which is super adorable. That, I love that so much. That is so cute. Um, but yeah, we'll return that banner. Oh, we also got this one. A letter bunting. <gasps> that's cute. 
didn't know that that one was in there either. I didn't see that till now. Um, all right, so I guess um, our last one is Daisy Duck's Quest. Um, oh my, preparing for this play has been a lot of work. We wanted to hold the play though because of Chip's fantastic tales. So let's finish getting ready. We need some finishing adjustments though. Can you get me some iron and string for the fairy lights? Uh, why did you wait until tonight to do all of this? Well, I didn't know I would need to do all of this until tonight. That's understandable. <laughs> all right, so let's look at our quest. We need two iron ingots and one string. I think I have iron in here. Yes, I do. I don't have a piece of string though. I think I have a piece of string at my home because I collected cobwebs. Um, so I guess I can go and grab that real fast. All right, it should be in here. Yes, I do have a piece of string and I believe with that and two pieces of iron, I think that that is it. There it is. Thank you. Now a lot more has come up. Minnie has lost her tiara somewhere in her house. Mickey isn't sure where his sword is in his attic and Goofy needs apples to juggle. Just pick them up and come back here. We need to hurry because the play is tonight. Ooh, okay. All right. Well, I know I have apples here at my house, but I kind of want to pick the apples that are near the quest area. So I guess let's head back there. All right. So first things first, let's look at our quest. We need to find Mickey's sword in his attic. We need three apples and then Minnie's tiara. So the apples, we have apples right here, so we can go ahead and get those. Boom, there's our three apples. Done. All right, and then I guess let's go to Minnie's house and see if we can find her tiara. Because she said that she lost it somewhere in her house. So I guess we shall look around. I wouldn't think it would be in the kitchen. So there's that. Um, oh my goodness, there's tiaras right in here. Look at that, we found a tiara, perfect. All right, so there's her tiara and then let's go to Mickey's house into his attic and let's go try and find his sword. Um, I'm looking. Oh, there it is. Sword. Boom. Perfect. All right. Great. Now we need the refreshments for the actors and the audience. Can you make 20 glasses of lemonade? The ingredients are back in my kitchen. Of course. Okay. So let's go to Daisy's house and let's make 20 glasses of lemonade. It did say in her kitchen, right? Am I blind? Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure it said in her kitchen. Maybe... I don't know why it would be in Minnie's kitchen, but we can check. I mean, what's it gonna hurt, right? It's in Minnie's kitchen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it would be in Daisy's, but that's okay. All right, so we need like 40 lemons. So there's 38, 39, 40. And then is it one piece of sugar or honey? We'll, we'll make it with some honey because that sounds pretty good. And then we just need a juicer, which... I don't know where the juicer is. Um, juicer, there it is. Okay, let's see if we can do this. 20, 20, and I made 20 lemonades. <gasps> Yay! Okay, what else? Oh, oh no, I forgot Chip's wand. It's supposed to let him teleport all over the stage so he can make his entrances and exits. Can you retrace my steps for me? I was in my house all morning to finish the other decorations. Then I visited Donald, then I stopped by the clubhouse, then I came here and finished sorting the crates. Okay, so... Okay, so I honestly think that we should start at Donald's house first. Let's see what Donald has going on, if anything. <laughs> and then if it's not there, then we'll check the clubhouse. Okay, so... 
I'm looking for his wand. I don't know why it would be in the fridge, but you know. Um, okay, so not there. Wouldn't think it would be in the bathroom. Uh, let's check over here. Okay, I don't think it's... Don't think it's here. Pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so let's just hop in here. <laughs> and let's go to the clubhouse now. Alright, clubhouse... Let's check around. Anything that we can open. Um, it's not on the shelves. Let's go down here. Let's see if there's something down here. Um, oh my gosh, there's a printing press down here. I literally did not know that this was here. That's good to know, actually. <laughs> That's really good to know. Okay, um, there's a stick in here. Oh, this was Chip's wand. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just took too many. Um, there we go. Chip's wand. Boom, and there we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. I think we have everything finished now. Thank you for all your help. <gasps> awesome. Okay, so that was Chip's wand. <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure. I, I kept looking, and I was like, there's a piece of, you know, there's a stick over there. Um... All right, well, I think that that is it. What did we get? We got this one right here, which I don't think, th oh, it's this one. We got this one right here, which is another part of the stage. And we got a Daisy and crew. Ticket to the play, oh, yay. I get a ticket to the play. Um, we also got 15 gold and I gotta, <laughs> I always forget to take things back. Um, but I gotta go return the juicer. I forgot about that. I will do that real quick. But I think that that is it. We have completed our Thanksgiving quest and Daisy's quest. So I believe that that will be it. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys all again next time. Happy Thanksgiving!